Okay. Okay. Uh, Celeste, right, because we're trying to balance everyone out, so, um, why not go after Celeste? Because we haven't talked to her to a third time yet, so let's do that. Where does she go? Alright, she's in the laundry. Where is everyone? Oh, god damn it. Where is everyone? Okay. I am tempted to go with <laughs> Asahina again. She is my waifu, after all. Rec room! Perfect! Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's enjoy and indulge ourselves in the, uh, rec room, why don't we? Just to have some, uh, enjoyment there. Is this the right? Yeah, this is the right room. Alright. And uh, then, again, we could also talk to, um, Yasahiro? Fuck, what's his name again, I think? Uh, yeah, too lazy. <laughs> Where is the Zion Celeste anyway, so... Ah, Makoto, how are you? Hmm, why not? Indeed. I think I have a good, uh, idea what to give her as a gift. Would you like to play a game with me, by chance? <laughs> I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. <laughs> I don't think money currency really matters here, does it? So let's give me the business. So let's not grew a little closer today. Uh, yes, definitely. Why not? What should would I like to give her? Is this it? She'll like this, right? Interesting. The gods heard my prayer and my wish has been granted. Mm -hmm. This is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion, is it not? Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Let's see. Say, Makoto, do you like Mahjong? Um, I never actually played. Most unfortunate. Is that so? A pity. I was hoping we might play together. Are you good at it? Yes, indeed. Good? No, I am no, not merely good. I once played a game of Russian Roulette Mahjong and won. Russian Roulette? Mm. It was a truly fierce contest put on by a half insane billionaire in the basement of his mansion. My opponents were a fierce old man and a silver-haired boy who was said to have the devil's own luck. We played with a modified rule set. I remember well the glass tiles we used. Anyone? Mm -hmm. I defeated them both at once. I will never forget the angry, twisted looks on their faces. The crowd that had been invited to watch become positively virtuous. Nobody could believe I had won. <laughs> this is one of my fonder memories. Uh, Really glad I didn't agree to play Bajong with her! Cool. And I got more skill. Okay. So I'm set so far, Kirigiri, Aoi, and Celeste has given me nothing but skill points so far. Unable to comprehend Celeste's fearsome past, I went to go back to my room. Okay. Alright, that was an interesting uh, backstory for Celeste's part. Still have some time, of course, so. Let's give Yasuhiro some love. Why not? Uh, where'd he go? Dining hall, kitchen, warehouse, laundry. It'll be interesting to talk to him, but... I don't know. I don't know what I think. So I gotta remember. Dressing room! And... Where's the fucking dressing room? Is it here? I keep forgetting. I think this is it, right? Looks like it's place. No, nope, this is the. Mm. Actually, can I even talk to him? I knew this was gonna happen. Who's got a problem with m who my friends are? We're gonna have a little chat. Uh, I can't even. Yeah, I can't even work, work out with him whatsoever. Okay, so I know that uh, I can't talk to him anymore. Uh, where the fuck is he again? Dressing room. Where the fuck is the dressing room? Apparently, it's next to the laundry. Is it the bath? That can't be it, right? Maybe it is. No. Who knows? This is just a room I'm Okay. <sighs> yeah, when are we gonna get out of here? You know? Okay, I got something I wanna show you. I got the stigma. Sti I got the stigmata on my back. Hey, come on. <laughs> it's a gift from the gods. Okay. Hero showed me a scar on his back, though I didn't really get what it meant. Okay. Cool. What kind of gift would he like? He's like a spiritual kind of person, right? So maybe he'll like a... Bird seed? Oh, I don't even have a bird seed. Love status drink here! Would you marry me, sir? How about that? I have no idea what this is worth, so I guess it's not worth anything. 
think I made him mad. He probably thinks worse of me now. Oops. Fuck! Shit, so if I give him a wrong gift, then I don't even have a conversation with him? Huh? There's something by the door? Oh boy, what is this? This piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped under my drawer. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But, I want to, but to want to meet up so suddenly, who wrote it and why? What's the point in calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Okay. I have no choice now, do I? I have to go to this dining hall. Who's here exactly anyways? Or is everyone in their own rooms? Looks like everyone's in their own rooms, so... Alright, what's up at the fucking dining hall? Yes, Yo. hero. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm sorry about giving you that love ring. <laughs> oh, Makoto! Hero, then the letter I found in my room? You know? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Hmm. Well, I was actually taught that if you had bad hand bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want me to meet with me hmm. here? Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? <laughs> actually. Actually, I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what would you say to a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. Serious? It's all an act, so the mastermind wouldn't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then, did Alcrico finish his search? You got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. But me and Hero... Okay. Okay, then. So I guess everyone's meeting up in here. Ah, uh, including the maniac as well. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you! Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced through the air as he started pointing at it. His wristwatch. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime's for all the little boys and girls. <laughs> he shut up. What? What'd you say? You want to make me... You want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka. He seemed to be even worse off than I heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow me on grow to grow a personality. Yeah. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, or you know what? What the heck? How rude! A maggot like you has no sense to speak that way to our heavenly sent master. Oh. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> you shut up! Hey, come on. Well, anyways, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is hey. complete. You want us to all meet here, right, Kyoko? So, what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have to do something with Alter Ego, That's right? right? Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? I don't like the silence you're giving me, Kyokiri. Kyoko. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego. The laptop had disappeared. What? No way! Y you're kidding, right? Oh. Um... Uh, what? She's gone? Oh, you. you can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with them? Mm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what they were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he... To, uh, I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appear. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But, but if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could have been him. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. <laughs> I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you! You're the suspicious one here! You're nothing but a big, jiggling sack of fat! <laughs> Seriously, what's with people just making fun of her tits? What's wrong with them, exactly? Just because they're big? Fuck off! Anyways, shows what you know! This isn't my true form! I still have three more transformations left! Damnation! Er, wait, I mean, it wasn't me! Everyone knows you're the thief! <laughs> Wrong! It's you! Serious. Well, I think 
we had to search everyone here, right? Or something? Well, I'm pretty sure one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and come back. Oh, excuse me. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? huh? Why not? So... I told Ultra Eagle to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? What? <sighs> It was a countermeasurement against the clever, clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But... Then, who is it? So that's it. The, fundal, the fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Fumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself, one of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? <laughs> How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Uh, huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the Mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? I mean, he has a point, I have to say. I mean, as much as we've been good buddy buddies, anything's really possible. They could just be lying and tricking us and hmm. shit. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy from the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible? There's no way! What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Say what? <laughs> I don't care! I don't care who... Someone! Anyone! Save her! Please! Rescue her! I'm begging you! I just want to see her smiling face again! Damn it! Same here! How many times do I have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg! I'll scrap my head across the ground! Just please give him back! So, um... This is a pretty messed up, but still, I think I kinda how get how they feel. At the very least... I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe for the moment, at least. Yes, indeed. If they want to destroy it, it would have taken it. They wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it is something else in mind for him? For him? Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear. I, I swear! Oh, okay, you reward acting up. Oh, okay, using the power of love. Uh. Any information, <laughs> sir? Uh, soon the door. Okay then. All right then. Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some seats. <laughs> What good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run, in, if we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice and... We won't get anything done. Taka, Ifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin- God damn, I noticed how fucking pale Celeste's skin is. Holy shit. It's like a geisha makeup or something. Anyways, um, we will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's gonna be our next recording, uh, not next recording, next uh, part of the Let's Play. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying on them for the Mastermind. Could be you! <laughs> you did admit it yourself that you're, you yourself is a possibility. I definitely know it's not me because I'm me. Okay. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then when that ha hope was taken away, despair is just like, just like what the Mastermind is doing to us. 
Then could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego? Could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... No! It can't be! There's no way! I didn't even realize I'd yell that out loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is... The idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself into the bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Alright, <laughs> what wacky zany commentary will you provide with us now? Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Okay. <laughs> Basic idea of what murder is all about. Okay, do we start or do we meet up at the dining hall? Good morning, everybody. Alright, today we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. And we'll figure that out after the break, so stay tuned to the next episode of Danganronpa. Oh, excuse me, Danganronpa.